Hello, welcome to another pixel art tutorial. Um, in the first video in this series, I showed you how to make this uh, wood flooring uh, tileable texture and the alternative damage tile. Um, in the next one, I'll be sh in this one, I'll be showing you how to do this uh, floor tile, and in the next one, I'll be showing you how to do the transition tiles. Um, so to give you a little overview of uh, what we've been making and are going to make. I've made this little preview in Unity showing you the textures in use. Uh, this is using a Pro Builder uh, plugin for Unity. It's quite handy for tolerable textures. Um, these are all just separate meshes where you can also make big ones if you want to do the want to use one single texture. Um, if you have the paid version of this you can actually uh, put textures, different textures on a single mesh is unfortunately a um, limitation of the free version that you can only use one a single material on it. Right, so let's go into it. Um, so it'll need to fit in with the wall, dungeon wall that uh, I made with you guys in a pre in the, my first video. Uh, so I've put it up here. To, know which colors to use and how it would look, this style. Um, these are the colors I'll be using. These are the same colors as this. And this is for a little detail that I'll be using in the, the gem alternative one, um, which you can see here. It's this one. It, it's a bit out of theme, but you know, it's uh, just a special one you can, you can sometimes use. So, um, the first thing we'll be doing is making the big tile, the single one. Uh, so, we'll want to be using the same color as this. I'll just get started with the basics. Highlight on the left and a shadow on the right. Now. Uh, since this is going to be tileable and I already have the style set that there's a seam between rocks, I need to keep that in mind here. Shadow is actually going to be here because this is where the seam is going to be. Um, now, of course, this will not be a highlight but a corner. Um, uh, style is actually. Uh, the highlight comes around like this, right. and uh, the corner is like that. So I'll just put the cross in the corner again between elements like this, and vary the the red a bit with the green. Just a bit of random colors doesn't need to be exact uh, same right so and then there's this highlight and that is basically it I think I might want to put this here uh, since this is a bit of a brighter color to make it seem like there's actually a corner here um, right so this is a basic tile basic big tile and as you can see this, this works so now we are going to make a smaller tile so a 2x2 two two. I'm just gonna copy this over and see where do I put it so it's gonna be at 16 so about here one more, and then same for up. So this way we can just reuse what we just made instead of having to redo everything. It's Sixteen. Now of course, let's let's uh, change this up a bit. Otherwise, it's going to look very samey. That's not very nice. Right. 
Yeah, that should do it. Let's merge these layers to show you the pattern tiles nicely. Then let's make a one with a gem in the middle for a little variance. Um, so these are the colors I'm using for this. Um, to break up the horizontal and vertical lines, I'm gonna make it a sort of diagonal. Uh, yeah, diagonal. Put some diagonal lines in there for the gem. Probably wanna put uh, some shadow around there and put a bit of highlight on it. Um, I think I want it a bit bigger. Is that right? Yeah. That looks nice. It's a nice gem. Now let's put a border on it. You can make it look like it's actually in the stone. Wait, that's not how I want it. That looks pretty good. It needs the highlight though. Mm. Yeah, that's better. But this is a little too dark, I think. Um, yeah, it's okay. We'll take a look at it later. Alright, so now we have a normal one and what are we gem? Um to create even more variants with uh, more more subtle than just uh, sticking a gem in the middle. You can also just damage the tiles a bit. For instance, if you have a line over your tile like this, let's make it a, a nice diagonal one. So you have a sh there's a, a cut in the stone here. So it'll be a shadow, and the shadow falls from this direction. And there's a highlight which falls from this direction. Maybe like this. And um, at the risk of it being too samey, I'll put it in the same. Uh, also, no, I'll try it in the same direction, see if that um, looks good, but it's in, in the opposite tile at least. So this would be a damaged tile. And we can also go a bit more extreme, for instance by just getting rid of a whole corner on one, you just very roughly draw some stuff in here, and draw some shadow. Um, I think I want to do it the other way around because this is a lighter color than the red. So I'll go um, this, this color, then red, then green, and then shadow. This is a bit too round to my liking though. Now for some dithering. Yeah, so this would be a tile that is partially smashed away or just sunk into the ground. Um, and maybe we can put a little, I actually don't, it's on the same one, so it's, it's not a good idea to put the, put it on the same tile like this, um, so I'm just going to move this one to that, alright, so we have a bunch of tileable textures here, let's see how it looks, 
Um, I'll just duplicate it, this, put them together. Oh. And you have a nice floor texture which fits in nicely with the wall. It's a lot calmer, but you don't want your floor to be quite calm. You don't want your players to have, be looking up and down all the time. The walls are the more important and more detailed part that you want. You can give some um, clues with these gem tiles, for instance. Um, I put... Oh, well, I moved this. But I put the, uh, the bookcase here before show like oh there's a gem so maybe you should check out this bookcase some environmental details you can also see the pattern i made before recording this it's about the same there's a little details there's a little chip out on the corner here it's something you can do as well um so please tune in for the next video where i'll be showing you how to make the transition borders to make them look well in the hole so hopefully until then um, please uh, like, leave a comment if it is useful. Thank you very much for your time.